Good morning. We are here again at Loquat Studios after a much needed rain, which means I don't have to water. I can spend more time with you. And last night we kind of ran out of light as the sun set, so um, I couldn't finish my box on camera. But as you see, um, I finished it. And instead of turning it into a box that just is used to store things, I decided to make a birdhouse. So um, I put the roof on, which was the last piece. And um, I just wanted you to see that um, there's all kinds of things you can make once you've mastered the skill of making a cube or making a box. So it's not just, oh, I can make a box to put stuff in. It's, no, now you know how to build the structure to build anything. So you could build a neighborhood of gnome homes. You could build a house and then cut the windows out and then um, put candles inside, you know, like have the, the underside open. Um, and then it would look like the windows were lighting up. Um, you can do so many things sculpturally and structurally now that you basically know how to build with slabs. Um, so I decided to go ahead, instead of making a box for myself, to make a home for somebody. So um, the important thing about making a birdhouse is not that you think it's beautiful, but that the birds actually want to live in it. So. Um, there's different size holes for different species of birds. They all have a preference, right? Because they want to get in, but they don't want their predators to be able to get in. Um, some like a little stick to perch on while they're feeding their babies, and some hate that. They'll pull it out if you keep putting it in. So other um, important things about this home are that the bottom has holes in it, right? So if it rains, you know, and you've got your windows open, you're going to get water in your house. So it needs to drain. You don't ever want it to fill and just soak. A lot of people forget this step. So you always want drainage at the bottom of your birdhouse. It also has to be waterproof. It has to have an actually waterproof roof. Um, and what I did was I made a little overhang and then I put um, ventilation holes. So they'll mostly be protected from the rain, but that way there's a little bit of airflow. I mean, birds are like us. They don't want to be like stuck in some damp, like unventilated area. So they'll be the ultimate um, judges though. We'll see um, if they move in or not. So I made two different um, possibilities for how to hang it. So I thought ahead about what are my needs. Um, and you also want to keep in mind when you're working with clay that it's going to shrink like 15% after it gets fired. So it's hard to be exact, you know. This hole might not be exactly the diameter that I want it to be, but um, you know, we'll see what the birds decide. Um, they're like us. They're going to make do with what they've got, even if it's not perfect. So, that is the end of the bot project, end of the box project. And um, share with me your creations and let me know how it went. And I will see you for our next lesson, which will be coil pot making. Bye bye.